this is the little river above Mori, who feeds the water into the modular pico hydro. That's the river who goes down here. And further down the valley, this side. We have cut a bridge into the river and protected it with, with, with meshed galvanized steel. And we can see here how the river comes here in. And flows slowly into a pond which we artificially created as a first sedimentation measurement so that sticks and leaves and sand can get washed out of the water and once the water is already reasonably clean it goes into the cemented sedimentation tank which is the one right here in front you can see how it turns the water here you can see the overflow of the pond which which the water leads back to the river down there and from this pond the water goes into the cemented septic sedimentation tank through this sluice gate which we can adjust and going in here from the sluice gate you see water enters slowly into the sedimentation tank which is cemented and loses height and widens so that the water speed decreases even more and the last sediments and sands can drop out of the water and collect at the bottom. Haribar is just cleaning the intake pipe which has over thousand holes you can't see it through the reflection but through that the water is going down to the penstock and here we see the overflow where the overrun water flows out again back into the river and the main pipe where the water goes into the penstock which is here has always to be fully covered with water so that we have no air coming in. Here we see the overflow we just saw in the previous video where the water flows out the over the over water flows out and back into the river. With this system we make very sure that we have very clean water only entering the penstock and that no air is entering into the penstock. This penstock which we have seen here inside, there the water goes in and goes through here at the ground and goes then all 495 meters down to the turbine house. Which We've seen all the sedimentation, the pond, the river, how we prepare the water so it has no sediments, no sand, no leaves, no nothing to go into the penstock. And here we see the beginning of the penstock all underground, which we walk now along and film now and then. It's 495 meters long, the so called penstock. And we have a net head of 47 meters that means 4.7 bar and we run around 20-22 liter a second 
for six turbines, but usually we have only two turbines running. Here you can see we measured the height and the ups and downs of the ge geology here and we had to build huge stone walls so that the pipe is uh, nicely laid back down to the ground and the water can flow nicely down. That further in the far is the sedimentation tank and here the underground HDB 200 mm diameter penstock pipe comes out and goes here along the fields all underground buried so that above the ground then farmers can grow their crops. We see Morigau in the distance. The penstock is all here on the ground under these many stones. between the fields so that we have a steady slope and no ups and downs with the penstock being as straight as possible. You can see as well the penstock going through the fields. <clears throat> Any leakage we could see because we have already quite some pressure here, but it's all tight and safe buried on the ground. Here on this stretch we had to build another wall in order to compensate the slope so that we have a clear uh, slope. Here we go in midst through the fields and on top the farmers are producing their crops here, potatoes. They just started to plant. You can't even make out that there is underneath a 200 mm high density polyethylene penstock pipe which brings the water down to the turbine house where the six turbines are. In the distance again the village Mori our operator Hiralal goes most of the time on a daily basis along this route to see if everything is fine, if everything is tight and neat and no leakages are here. We are leaving the plowed fields to go through some bushes again and again under this stone wall buried is the HDB pipe 200 mm diameter and depends on the pressure, we have also a different thickness of the HDB pipe. We start with two and a half kilo per square millimeter pressure to four to six kilo once we have more than 35 meter height and therefore more than three and a half bar pressure. On top of the wall we always put some spar uh, thorny bushes so that children are not tempted to climb it for their games and plays. So here we end almost we come to the end on the ridge.
before the steep fall of the penstock goes down to the turbine house. That's the last part of the 495 meter long penstock from the sedimentation tank down to the turbine house. Here of course is the thickest 200 millimeter high density polyethylene pipe with six kilogram per square cent uh, millimeter pressure. And there is the turbine house which we are going to see now. The, the last few meters of the penstock leading into the turbine house. From outside you can already hear the sound of the turbines running. Here is the ex exhaust on the ground. Out of the turbine, underground buried 225 millimeter HDV pipe. Here enters the penstock into the turbine house. Here is the gate valve with which we can shut off the water from all the turbines. And here is the last part of the penstock with the six turbines all connected in series. There are six turbines installed. This is number six. This is number five, which is on. You can see how nicely the turbine is running. With two notches, one to the left and one to the right. And water comes in. This is turbine 3 which is also running. This two turbine 3 and 5 have been running now for one year non-stop. We are going to change it now from 3 to and 5 to 2 and 4 so that we can make sure that all the turbines are used more or less the same amount of hours over many years time period. Here all the cables from the six turbines come together and are joined into one wire or two wires plus and minus. They are DC 200 volts. We are changing now the production of the electricity from turbine 3 and 5 to 2 and 4. That's the way we do it. Haribal also turbine 2, one volt of turbine 2, and then the other volt 
Slowly and steadily. Turbine 2, 3, 4 and 5 are running. Now as we have made sure that <coughs> Turbine 2 and 4 are running, we are closing now Turbine 5. Make sure when a turbine is not producing that it runs a little bit so that always a little bit water is flowing so that the bearings are always in move and cannot be stuck or get rusty. Now we close turbine 3. The first one and close turbine and let a little bit water flow so that it runs. So now we are running turbine two and four. And now we go back to the powerhouse to see how much these two turbines produce. Should be around 2.2 to 2.3 kilowatts. 